Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Viking bags and uh, specifically we're going to talk about this Viking bag that I have behind me. Now this is a review after I've already used it right so I'm going to give you what I like about it and I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. You know some of you might like it and want to buy it and, and some of you may not but I'm just going to give you an honest review. But of course, I want to thank Viking Bags for reaching out to me and being so kind to me and uh, sending me out this bag for review. If you're wondering my, why my Rogue Light is so dirty is because, as I mentioned, I already tested this bag out. Um, I went on my first group ride, which is a Polar Ride of 2024. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it was cold, it was rainy, it was muddy, and a lot of people came in from Tennessee, uh, Oklahoma, in other states and uh, and we just rode long and rode hard i know it doesn't sound the best when you put it like that but i mean we put these bad boys to the test um and um and if if your stuff was gonna bust this is the kind of ride is gonna break on uh fortunately most of the people's bikes were perfectly fine so that's awesome but um this this broke is just filthy anyways i'm gonna make a video on all this stuff but anyhow back to the viking bags here so it's still mounted. I still have my clothes in here and I just wanted to show you guys what I packed in the bag so that way you can see what fits in it and it actually has a lot of space in it. So if you're looking for a bag that's really economically priced, I want to say somewhere maybe around I think 90 bucks, it might be on sale right now, this is your bag. Other companies that have similar bags that I've seen and travel luggage for motorcycles um, are in the $150 to $200 range. So this might be a good option for you. Okay, so I got my phone here so I can give you all the information correctly without me having to uh, put it in the bottom here in the comments or anything like that. So anyhow, this is Viking Bags 32 liter Renegade Large Motorcycle Sissy Bar Bag for Harley Davidson Motorcycles. Now, before I go any further, I don't have a Sissy Bar set up. I mean, I have it, but I just want to try just without a back seat and, uh, and with this luggage rack that I bought from Amazon for around $70 just for this trip because I wanted to see if it was gonna work and I like it. I like it a lot, um, mostly because if uh, I'm gonna be traveling um, this year and I fly my wife in, I needed, and I'm not gonna take the King Tour pack, I needed somewhere where her luggage, I can just strap it on, we can go to the hotel or wherever, right? The original price of this is actually $149.99, but it's on sale right now for $93.76. I'm sorry, in 74 cents. And it's noted here that with a coupon, and I don't know what coupon that is, it's $74.74. So that's what it is. Now, they claim that um, 45 cans uh, fit in here. I'm presuming like 12 ounce uh, cans will fit in here. It has high vis interior, and it does, and I'm gonna show you what that is. It's a weather resistant, and it is because of this ride I was on. And uh, it has backpack straps, everybody. I really like that it has backpack straps because the other competitors that are, like I said, about you know, $150 to $200 range and up, like price all the time, don't have this. I have uh, another one uh, of that other, of another company. So this one here, the uh, material is Cordura. Uh, shoulder straps included, water resistant. The dimensions are 11.5 by 19 um, diameter and height and it references you to see the image, but I'm gonna show you the back here in a little bit. The storage capacity is exactly 1,952.8 cubic inches, and the lid opening here is 11 inches by 11 inches. It includes two zippers that are water resistant um, uh, up here in the front, and it has webbing to attach essential gears. Now it shows all this good stuff here. When you order this, let me take it off. When you order this, it comes with four straps, and um, I actually use all of their straps with this because if you buy this, you would want to use their straps versus straps from another company, right? So I wanted to use their straps, see if I liked them or not. And that's what I use to strap down the bag here. So let me just, I guess, put the straps right here. And again, I'm reviewing this after <clears throat> I've already tested it out. Now it looks a little compact because I had to squish it down because of the speeds we were going at, but here's the bag. Okay, so here's the bag, and again, I've actually used it, right? So here's the bag, and let me just cover the exterior. So it comes with these two pockets here, and there you can see the high-vis material. And as you can see, I'm sticking my hand in there just so you can see that they're pretty spacious. Now, the bag also comes with those four straps that I'm going to show you, but it also comes 
with this webbing that you can use as well. And these are like, it looks like uh, some metal uh, hooks there. So that are the compartments that it has. The high-vis material inside the bag is also the same color. In the back, you have your backpack straps, right? Now, I have it all tied up like this because I didn't want it to be loose during my ride and just mess up my paint. But you have actual backpack straps, everybody. It actually has a waist strap that goes with it. I actually don't have it here right now. I left it <laughs> inside of the house because I didn't need it for the trip. So it has that waist strap that it comes with it as well. And also it comes with a handle here. So you can just carry it if you want, or you can uh, just throw it over your shoulder, right? So that's the deal with that. And then here on the side, you have this um, strap here that you can, uh, um, you know, tie down if you need to, if you so choose to. And it has the same one on the other side, right? The design of this, let me tilt this over, is kind of like a like a big old duffel bag from the from the military, right? There it is, the high vis material inside, and here I have all of the things that I have in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out. The thing I've valued the most of this bag, besides all the features it has, besides the materials that it has on here, I mean it's good material, is the bottom of it because it has this material that makes it like a non-slip kind of. Um, rubber material and it has some kind of little segments here some kind of little indentations that helps it just kind of not slide around so whatever surface you have it on with the weight that you have in the bag <clears throat> is going to stay for the most part where it's at because there's nothing more frustrating when you tie a bag down and it's just moving all over the place in the bottom so i wanted to <clears throat> point that out so in here i have my rain gear i have my full size cover for my motorcycle I have, I, mean, I don't want to show you my dirty clothes, but I have, <laughs> well, it was all nicely in order, but I have my, tr my, my Trask hoodie that I like a lot. Thank you, Trask, for supporting this channel as well. So I'm going to put this over here. I have my AGV K6 clear visor in here, okay? I'll put to the side. Oh, these clear visors, I like them. I just don't like carrying them. I have an extra an extra shirt. I have my dirty clothes in here. Let me just put it over there. Um, I have some more clothing. I got some of my my pants, some Harley socks. These are clean items I didn't use. Some underclothing. My shoes here to hang out. Some other clothes to hang out with. My some of my toiletries here that I'm gonna put to the side <laughs> and some other clothes. With all of this in here, I could have uh, squished it all in looking back and I would have probably like this much more room still plus room on the sides here to, um, to fit stuff, right? And uh, while I'm looking at this, there is a zipper in the front that you can also add things to. I was forgetting about that. It just has so many nice options that I just uh, uh, overlooked to, to, um, to show you guys that. Now, I wanted to show you a tape measure. This is like from the bottom area of here. I'm getting 26 inches. And I'm just going to try to flatten that out. Just a little eyeball. And this is about 19, hold on. Yeah, about 19 and a half inches uh, wide. In terms of the bottom, it is right around 8 inches. And then this way is about uh, about 14 and a half inches so those are the dimensions now i know it said that the opening is 11 inches so let's let's verify that right look at the high vis material inside look like i said it's just like a straight duffel bag and it's it's uh i like it i like this bag all right so if i hold the top here and i go down i'm getting and i don't know if this is how you measure it but i'm getting 17 inches so if i go this way from side to side kind of extending i'm getting around 18 and a half inches so i'm guessing the 11 inch is when it's a, when it's around like this but even then it's like too small i think i don't know maybe it's the radius i don't know how they get those measurements but i'm getting 11 inches from here and this is well over that in terms of that even if you kind of eyeball it to make it even it's around 12 and a half inches. So let me know in the comments if 
you know how to make these, um, take these measurements. So once you have all this stuff in here, um, then you have this Velcro area from this section here to this section here. And all you do is you do this, right? Now, you're still gonna have this area that's kind of like, doesn't have a Velcro thing. Uh, I was kind of wondering why Viking bags did that, but I think I figured it out right. Why? Because when you come down and you hook up the strap on this side and or on this side, you kind of need that flexibility there, but I don't know if that's why, I'm just kind of guessing. But we had some like, uh, some, some rain, some misty rain and stuff like that, and nothing in here, absolutely nothing got wet. So I know it reads that it's weather resistant, but I think that it might not be 100% waterproof, but I think it's pretty, pretty waterproof, at least for everyday riding, right? I should probably get a water hose and just hose it down, see if anything goes in, but uh, I'll do that at some other point. Oh, one other thing I'm forgetting, and then the inside you have a, a pocket area or a pouch where you can put your laptop in here, you see? Which is very nice. All right, so after jumping around <laughs> on all the features that this bag has, um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna show you the what it comes with. It comes with four of these straps here, uh, four straps like this that are identical, you know? And, uh, and it also comes with this webbing here right? This webbing here has this uh, material, like these hooks here. So if you want to, I don't know, put your helmet or just strap down some, some additional stuff, you can. But I was really nice. I was really happy to see that it came with this because these are going for about 15, 20 bucks. So that's, that's nice that it included that one. The thing I like about the straps is when you put them together, it has like a little, their brand like the Viking. It's pretty cool, huh? On one end of the strap, you have the option of, um, running the strap through itself so you can uh, kind of hook it, right, like this. And then on this side, you have where, let me just kind of undo it, you have where you can roll the excess strap in here, so that way your stuff is not rolling in the wind, right? So that's how the design, and then you have your buckle area, which is pretty cool because you have like the Viking logo, if you will, there. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so what is one thing that Vikings bags can improve on this specific bag? And initially I thought it was the straps. I'm just not used to that design of the strap, but I made it work. And besides that, I really don't have anything that uh, I don't like. And again, I rode it in cold weather. I rode it in, in, in some rain and some fog. You can, my motorcycle is a, a testament from that. And I just really, really like the bag. I think this is a bag that if you want to just get up and go for a one day trip, two day trip, I would say even three to four day trip, if you know how to pack, you can put five days worth of clothing in this, in this bag here if you know how to pack. As you know, I was in the infantry in the United States Army, very proud of that. And we pretty much packed everything either in our rucksacks or in our duffel bags or both. And this has that duffel bag design that I'm used to using for many, many years that I was in the uh, infantry from Fort Benning to other places, right? So the other thing I'm gonna say that I really like about it is that it has your straps to carry it as a backpack. That's super convenient because then you can carry a helmet and possibly another bag or whatever, right? So I like it and it's kind of thick, man. It's kind of thick. So thank you Vikings Bag for uh, partying up with the channel and sending me this bag. And I'm gonna be using it probably on on my trips, uh, if not all of my trips uh, this year, even on my turbo bag, uh, turbo bag, because King Tour Pack, I like it, but sometimes I don't have enough stuff to fill it in, right? And this is perfect because how I had it on my little luggage rack that I kind of bought was I just had it hooked up like you saw in the beginning of the video. I got to the casino for with the polar ride where we were staying at over there in um, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, and um, I just was walking in with it and it was just super convenient. So that's my review of the bag. Do I recommend it? Yes. Go ahead and go to their website and, um, and uh, check out this bag. Also, a lot of people that uh, create videos on YouTube have other bags from uh, Vikings bags themselves and they have reviews on them. So go check them out. I would list them here, but I'm probably going to forget one or two and I don't want to get anybody upset because I didn't mention them, but know that I'm watching you guys as well. Also Viking bags has their own YouTube channel where you can see their Viking bags and also, um, 
uh, you know, they give you like an initial overview of the bag. If you don't go through YouTube, also when you go to their website at vikingbags.com and you click on a certain bag, they've done an excellent job on having a little video of 30 seconds or 40 seconds, however long it is, showing you the highlights of any of the bags that they have. And I really, really appreciate that because one thing is just seeing pictures, another thing is in somebody's hand and, uh, and they're moving it around, right? So you can see uh, how, how big or how small it is. That's it for today's video. You guys, uh, make sure you have your schedules down on your calendars for your trips or even if you go around, around town so you guys can get out there and ride your motorcycle. I don't care what motorcycle it is, just get out there and ride your motorcycle and be happy, right? In closing of this video, go check out vikingbags.com. And if you like this bag, pick it up. But if you don't like this design and this does not fit your needs, they have a lot of other options so you can check out. And they're very, very reasonably priced. So besides that, just get out there and ride your motorcycle um, and, and enjoy it, right? It's 2024, it's the first month of 2024. So y'all have a good one. So peace and nothing but love.